Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got blue, green, yellow, and purple triangles within bigger triangle ABC, as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the side length AB of this bigger triangle is equal to side length BC. And furthermore, the line segments BF, FD, DE, EC, and CA are equal in length. And we are asked to calculate the value of this angle X. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's the very first step. Let's consider the blue triangle BFD, this one. And this is an isosceles triangle. And here's the definition of an isosceles triangle, a triangle with two equal sides are two equal angles. And as these two sides are equal in length, that means this angle X is going to be same as this angle X on this side. And now we are going to talk about a really crucial topic, exterior angles. The exterior angle theorem is this one. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. As you can see in this figure, we have alpha and beta are two interior angles, and this x is an exterior angle, and moreover, this x is always equal to alpha plus beta. That means this exterior angle is always equal to alpha plus beta. So therefore, in our case, in this example, this is going to be our exterior angle for these two opposite interior angle, and this exterior angle is going to be x plus x. I'm going to write down x plus x and which is same as a 2x. And now in this next step, let's focus on this green triangle FDE. And this is also an isosceles triangle because these two sides are equal in length. So therefore, this angle is going to be same on this side as well. So this is going to be a 2x as well. Now let's talk about the exterior angle. If we look at this exterior angle for this green triangle, let's extend this ED outside over here, then this angle is going to be our exterior angle for this green triangle. And the measure of this exterior angle is going to be simply sum of these two opposite interior angles, which are 2x plus 2x is going to make 4x. And now we are only interested in this part, this angle. So that is going to be 4x take away this x. So that is going to be simply 3x. All right. Now let's focus once again on this blue angle, which is 3x. All right. So, and this is also 3x because they are vertical angles. And here's a vertical angles theorem. Vertical angles are pair of opposite angles formed when two lines intersect. Vertical angles are always equal to each other. And now in this next step, let's focus on this yellow triangle DEC, this one. And since this is an isosceles triangle, that means these two sides are equal in length. So that would mean that this angle 3x is going to be equal to this angle 3x on this side as 
Well, now let's talk about the exterior angle for this yellow triangle. If we extend this CE on this side, then this whole angle is going to be our exterior angle for this yellow triangle. And the measure of this exterior angle is going to be simply the sum of these two opposite interior angle 3x plus 3x is going to make 6x. We are only interested in this angle, this part only, so that is going to be 6x minus this 2x is going to make 4 x and now we can see if this is a 4x then this angle is going to be 4x as well because they are vertical angles and now let's focus on this uh, purple triangle ACE and this is also an isosceles triangle since these two sides are equal in length so therefore this angle and this angle, they are also going to be of same value. And here's our final step. Let's consider this triangle ABC, the big triangle. And this triangle ABC is also an isosceles triangle since AB equal to BC. That means these two sides are equal in length. So therefore, this angle is also going to be 4x. That means these two angles are equal. And here is our triangle sum theorem. The sum of the three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. That means sum of these three interior angles must be 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and write down 4x and then plus 4x and then plus x equal to 180 degrees and on the left hand side that is going to give us 9x equal to 180 let's divide both sides by 9 so x turns out to be 20 degrees so thus we finally figured out the value of this angle which is turns out to be 20 degrees so thus our angle for this triangle ABC turns out to be 20 degrees. That's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.